Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos and welcome to my mythic uh, conclave kill video here from Battle of the Czar Lore. Uh, like my opulence kill video, this is actually not our progression kill, uh, but this is for a different reason. This one is actually because I was on the bench for our first progression kill of this boss, uh, because I didn't really need any of the loot very badly from here. Uh, but now on our first rekill it turns out that I actually do need the loot very badly, uh, because I got a, a high titan forged ring from Rastakhan, uh, so I ended up needing this boss now for the cloak, uh, so that I could turn on that two set. Uh, and get the uh, the Gift of the Loa active. So anyways, this boss fight starts. There are two aspects active. Uh, we decide to focus Gonk first, and we're actually going to leave Paku alive, uh, Paku's aspect over there, for the duration of the fight. That one's just going to keep getting stronger and stronger, uh, and we're going to deal with all of the other aspects before we kill it. This is kind of a classic council fight where there's uh, multiple different bosses, and two will be active at any one time, uh, and you get, you get to choose in which order you want to kill them. Uh, our order is killing... Yeah, we're going to kill Gonk's aspect, then Kimball's aspect, then Akunda's aspect... Uh, and then Paku's aspect finally at the very end. Uh, Gonk's aspect we want to kill ideally between the 1 minute and the 1 minute 10 second mark uh, so that we can avoid any particularly problematic overlaps uh, later in the fight. So that's something that's important to do here. Uh, and you'll notice we're, we're getting it here right around the 1 minute mark, which is perfect. That's a, a nice speedy kill of that. Uh, and we finished off those raptors as well before they managed to, take, to claim any lives there. Raptors are a pretty high priority on this fight. Um, once they spawn, they'll fixate people. And if they get to that person, they're going to do a lot of damage. If you're a rogue and they, and they fix at you and they're getting close, you can actually evasion and, and tank them that way uh, and not, not have any ill effects. Uh, so now we're at the first Paku's Wrath of the fight. Paku's Wrath is a, a time when bad things happen to your raid. Uh, you need to be very careful to avoid Paku's Wrath. The, the main problem with Paku's Wrath is you need to get in this tight circle. And then Kragwa will be jumping around. Uh, there will be a tank cleave coming out, out of the front of Kimball's aspect uh, that you need to dodge. Uh, sometimes if, you're, if, if Akunda's aspect is active, there will be a big circle you can't stand in, and maybe you'll have to be kiting these raptors as well. Uh, and if any of those things overlap, or multiple of those things overlap during, uh, during Paku's Wrath, that's a good way to die, so you need to be really careful. The main thing you need to be really careful of is these Kimbles and Kragwas uh, jumping around on you inside that tight circle. Uh, so you need to be really, really careful to not get hit by those uh, whenever possible. Uh, so yeah, now we're just focusing down Kimbles' aspect. Uh, Kimball's Aspect does do an annoying tank dot uh, that is a bleed. If you are a dwarf, or if you're Horde side and you're an orc, so you get transformed into a dwarf, uh, remember that you can use Stone Form to remove the bleed uh, as the tank. And I believe we had one of our tanks actually swap uh, to orc because he wanted to be able to do that for Kimball's Aspect. Uh, and that's, you know, that, 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 that's a, a useful thing about that racial. It's a very powerful racial on this fight because there's also another mechanic that actually Stone Form is good against, uh, and that is Bwansamdi. Bwansamdi on Mythic shows up, and he will apply this curse to people that prevents them from receiving healing. Uh, and it, once it's dispelled, it jumps to the nearest player and prevents them receiving healing instead. Uh, and as the fight goes on, that just kind of stacks up more and more. And um, more and more players in your raid will be immune to healing and will need globals spent to dispel them. Uh, but if you're playing a dwarf, you can just stone form whenever you need to and save your healer mana. Uh, and also guarantee that you'll get the healing you need uh, while you have that curse on you. And you're, you're not going to be at the mercy of somebody noticing that you need to have a curse dispelled from you. Uh, so now we're focusing on Akunda's aspect. Akunda, while active, does a, a bunch of annoying things. Uh, that circle is not a huge problem there. You just need to get outside of that. The only time it's a problem is during Paku's Wrath. Uh, there's also Akunda's Wrath. Akunda's Wrath is... Uh, you, have, you get these little... People will get marked and they have to run out of the raid and then they'll send five balls in all directions that will stun people if they hit them. Uh, it's usually not a huge mechanic, although if you saw on that first Akunda's Wrath, uh, a couple people actually did end up getting hit by those balls, so uh, maybe, it, maybe it's something that you do need to worry about a little more. Uh, and then there's also a Mind Wipe that goes out, which is a huge silence on a bunch of people. Uh, and that needs to usually get Mass Dispelled is the best answer for that. Uh, you'll see there that I was cursed for a little while and wasn't receiving healing. Uh, I ended up not using uh, anything to take off me, though, because I was high health. So I didn't want to use uh, Cloak or Stone Form to move it to somebody else. And here's Akuna's Wrath on me now. So uh, one thing to do when you get abilities like that is don't panic and immediately run out. Run out after getting a couple more damage globals in if you can. Uh, that's something that I notice a lot of people do is they get they get that kind of mechanic on them and then they just immediately panic and run away from the boss and then they just stand outside of range of anything for like 10 seconds. Uh, that's something you want to avoid doing there. Uh, now here you'll notice I'm, I, I got hit by Kimball's Wrath. Kimball is a, a jumping around tiger and you need to make sure you get spread if you're marked for Kimball's Wrath. That's an important thing to do because it will cleave onto anybody and it will stun all the targets. And then it leaves this dot on you that, that doesn't get removed by stone form and that is permanent for the duration of the fight. Uh, so that's an extra... Both the Bwansamdi debuffs uh, and the Kimball debuffs are just going to ramp up as the fight goes on. So it's a, a bit of a soft enrage that way. Uh, now we're here for, for the final uh, the final Paku's Wrath, ideally of the fight, and the final set of Ravenous Stalkers. As we're now just on Paku's aspect, we've killed off uh, three of the four aspects, so there's only one left. 
Uh, these ravenous stalkers need to be taken care of, but luckily we have the Rings of Peace to keep them out of Paku's Wrath while we are dealing with that. Uh, that's a really useful way to deal with that mechanic. Uh, and then you'll notice here I'm just focusing these ravenous stalkers because once these stalkers go down, uh, the fight should we, we, we shouldn't be under out in that much danger anymore. And you'll notice we've only had one death uh, up to this point, so fight's going really well here. You'll notice again I'm cursed, so immune to healing, uh, but not in too much actual danger, so I don't worry too much about it. Uh, and I just get to use a final set of cooldowns here on Paku's Aspect uh, and just nuke it down. Uh, and that's really all there is to this fight. It's it, it, Once you handle those overlaps, and ideally if you get the kill timings sorted out so that you don't get particularly bad overlaps, uh, the fight ends up not being all that bad at all. And you get a cool pet out of it. There's also a special Kragwa pet that I think is mythic only that is pretty cool. Uh, anyways, that's how we did this fight. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again in the next one for Mythic Rastakhan.